Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you almost everything you need to know about the Great Crested Grebe. When it comes to diving for your dinner, there aren't many birds in the UK that are as skilled or as adapted as the Great Crested Grebe. They spend almost their entire lives either on or below the water surface. To aid them in this subaquatic life, great crested grebes have large, lobed feet that splay almost sideways from the back ends of their bodies. Their tail is insignificant and their wings, which have a span of 23 to 29 inches, are almost always held close to their bodies. In fact, great crested grebes rarely take to the air at all and prefer to dive to safety if they can. They can grow to weigh up to 3.3 pounds or 1.5 kilos and have striking markings throughout the year. During the spring, summer and autumn, adult birds develop a large crest of orange or chestnut feathers which can be held upright or hang down over the bird's neck and head. They have white throats and grey backs and if you get a close enough view of them, they have blood red eyes. During the winter, they lose their crests and develop a drabber grey colouring. Their diet is made up completely of aquatic creatures, mainly small fish, but they will also eat amphibians and invertebrates. They get all of this food from under the water and are capable of diving for up to 39 seconds and usually go to depths of 10 to 12 foot deep. Great crested grebes are found across most of Europe, some of Central and Eastern Asia, Australia and parts of East and South Africa. Their habitat is usually deep, clear bodies of water, but they can also eke out a living in most other wetland places. One of the great crested grebes' most famed behaviours is their courtship ritual dance. This is performed by both the male and the female from as early as January when each pair will begin to claim a territory. The dance involves a lot of mirrored swimming and head flicking, with both birds diving down and collecting stones or pondweed to present to one another, as the dance culminates with them rising out of the water in a chest to chest display. Once a pair is formed, they begin to create a floating platform of reeds and aquatic vegetation which they'll use as a nest. After this is complete, the female will lay between two and six chalky white eggs that measure just over two inches in length. Both parents incubate these from when the first is laid for 27 to 29 days. As the eggs are laid once a day, this will mean that the chicks also hatch at intervals, sometimes resulting in a noticeable size difference between them. After they do hatch, the chicks, which are covered in striped black and white down, leave the nest almost straight away and are capable of swimming and diving. Their parents sometimes split the brood in half, with each taking care of only their selected chicks, but this is not always the case, especially on still waters where there is a lot of food available. The adults bring the chicks a ready supply of fish, which they give to them head first for easy swallowing. Sometimes, the chicks will also climb onto their parents' backs to rest or to get out of the water. The young birds grow quite slowly and will often be looked after by their parents until they are at least 12 weeks old, when they are able to find food for and fend for themselves. After independence, the youngsters remain in and around their parents' territory for many months, only moving on during the winter. Great crested grebes only nest once per year, if they are successful, but unlike other birds which usually start nesting based on weather or temperature conditions, great crested grebe nesting is much more varied. Some studies have shown that they breed based on the conditions in their territory, the stability of the water table and the ready supply of food, and this means that it isn't uncommon for them to nest as early as February, but also as late as September or sometimes even October. They are monogamous for one year only and will usually find a new mate for each breeding season. Aside from their interesting breeding habits, 
great crested grebes are also known to eat their own feathers and feed feathers to their chicks. It's believed that this helps to reduce their risk of stomach parasites and slows the digestion of food, allowing for more nutrition to be absorbed. Historically, in the UK, great crested grebes almost went extinct, thanks to them pesky Victorians and their love of adorning hats and clothes with the feathers of birds. Thankfully, things are looking good for them now though, with a wintering population of around 19,000 birds and somewhere in the region of 4,600 pairs breeding here. They have an average lifespan of around 10 years, with the oldest known wild bird surviving to just over 19 years of age. Well there we go, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something new, check out this British wildlife video and if you like that, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.